Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of my Factorio Vanilla Let's Play series. And it looks like we got a decent amount done last time. And some research done. Now we need to... You know what? Let's get some weapon upgrades. Because those biters are starting to pester us. Oh, and some walls. Definitely want some of those. Let's get some lights. Then we'll work on electronics. And still processing. processing. Then we'll go logistics. Science. But the main goals for this episode are going to be getting uh, big smelter setups as well as uh, mining setups. So yeah, let's get started on that. So let's make a bunch of transport belts. Uh, yeah, that should probably be good. And we also want to make a bunch of mining drills. So we can make seven right now. Let's go ahead and make two, three, four, five. Let's just make the seven because they do take a bit of time to craft. So in the background, we'll do that. And then we'll come over to the iron and let's get a smelting setup for this iron. Oh no, we're getting attacked. But it looks like it's just this one guy, so... That is not too shabby. Can't complain there. But they are going to slowly keep getting more and more aggressive, so that is a bit of a worry. I am going to want to get a... Nope, not a radar, a gun turret over here. So let's get a gun turret. Also, I did just make a bunch of stuff. Just making some preparations. Um, I was just trying to think about how I can get the coal over here and still keep these guys in one line. Because if you notice, the coal has to go here. Okay? And I need the long uh, inserters to go here. So there's no room for these poles, and if I put them over here, they can't reach that. But, I think there's a design that I can do that allows me to use uh, underground belts. So that's what we're going to do next, I'm going to come up with a little design there. And also, get another gun turret with some bullets in it. Okay, so let's get this turret down. Wherever it is, here it is. And we'll just put it right here. And we'll put half of these bullets in here. And there we go. That should do the job for now. We will definitely get a better uh, defensive setup. Uh, but first, we need to get this iron going. Okay, so we got the basic setup. I just needed to have a pull every one, two, three, four, five, it looks like. Two, three. Yeah, like every five. Um, and these were reversed originally. Uh, but, of course, this guy can only pick from this layer. And so I needed to switch them so that he can pick out of these. Um, so, yeah, this is the basic setup and we'll just have it going down. Uh, I'm trying to remember one full belt. Uh, I gotta look it up. It's either 12 of these furnaces or it's 24. I think it's 24, and it's 12 per side. So yeah, I'm going to get 12 of these set up, uh, just as a start. And then of course, you know, if we want to fill the belt, we'll go ahead and get 24 of them. Okay, so I did the research, and I guess I need 48 of them. Just wanted to correct myself there real quick. Okay, so we got our basic setup here. And this is what she looks like. So we have one, two, three, six. So we have 12 on each side. And what we'll do is we will set it up to where we have one of these small boys here and then uh, a long reach one on the other side. So it'll just be the opposite, basically. 
So the small ones will be taking the coal and putting it in. The big ones will take the ore and put them in on this side. And that, actually, I kind of messed up here because in order to do it from side to side, I'll need one right here. And so I'll need to take coal in from here. So what I'll probably probably do is uh, we'll just have to go up one more, which that's going to look kind of ugly. Actually, no, what I can do is just move these, which I will do in just a second, because our next goal is to get these electric mining di drills uh, laid down. So that's what we're going to do real quick. Oh, and before we do that, I actually just, just in case uh, you guys are not uh, very familiar with Factorio, just wanted to kind of explain this concept. Uh, basically, uh, these underground belts, well, they go underground, first of all, <laughs> but uh, you can pick stuff up from that square. So all I did was use underground belts so that I can have these poles here in order to give them electricity. Okay, so I looked it up, and it looks like you need... 26 of these miners per uh, tier of belts because there are different tiers there's yellow red and blue but for this yellow one we just need uh, 13 per side so we'll go one two three here then we'll go uh, So this is the other side of the belt. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then coming down, this will be back to the other side. So this will be four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, eleven. And then we'll go down here. This will be again the other side, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and then we want the other side again so we'll do we'll bring it down we'll bring the uh, the belts down this direction and we'll go 12 13 so if I did that right there should be 13 for each side so we'll just go ahead and place these down and then, uh, oh, actually, before I do that, we need to place the poles, and I need to make a bunch of underground belts, because we're going to use the same method that we used over here, where we just have uh, underground belts for where the poles are, and that just kind of saves more space. It allows me to uh, add more mining drills, and also these top ones especially, but all of these are eventually going to run out of resources. And I just want to make sure that I use up as many resources as I can. But uh, anyways, let's go and place down our poles where we need them. Okay, so I got 60 underground belts. Hopefully that's enough. And I made a bunch more transport belts. So, oh, oops. Looks like I lost a connection here. There we go. Okay, and these are still not good. Let's put one here. I had to move these around because I realized that they were sitting right in front of where the uh, miners let out their ore. So we'll put it like that. And actually, let me see. Can I destroy that? Yes, I can. Okay. So let's get these transport belts placed down. And see how this goes. See if my theory was correct. Or see if I set it up right or not. Let's go 
here. Go this way. Go here. And we'll go sideways. Okay. So in theory that should fill the full belt. Uh, we don't, I, I won't really know until I actually have a full belt or have these smelters using a full belt, but you can already see after this one, it should fill the whole belt and you can see that they're, yep, there's a couple missing, it looks like, but, uh, they all have to get up and going first, but it looks like I'm missing a couple on this side here. Oh, see, now it's filled up. There we go. So it looks a bit off, for sure. But I think it's... I mean, either way, it's almost a full belt, and I can definitely add more with the amount that I have here. And I'm actually kind of curious. So we have 521,000 on this patch. Uh, that should last us a decent amount of time. The copper ore has 200,000, 275. Okay. And the coal has 271. So these all should do pretty well for at least the starter base. And then, of course, you know, we're going to expand later. But for now, this works well. And then now we finally have a large amount of iron plates being made. So that's fantastic. And what we want to do is just get the same setup, but for the copper which I actually might make a blueprint for. It's not a hard setup, but uh, just helps me not have to think as much. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go like this. Bam. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and get this same setup uh, over here at the copper, which you know what? I'm thinking, do I want to copy this too? Because that might be a smart idea. I mean, this wasn't that difficult either. Eh, we'll be okay. I'll, I'll, I want to see if I can get a better setup than this on the other one. But who knows. So let's go over here. Let's actually get some more iron because we... Yeah, we don't even have enough to make... Actually, the lack is probably copper but we need 26 of these see even after i collect all of this iron it'll probably oh never mind it was the iron but we're gonna need more stone furnaces as well and a bunch of underground belts and transport belts so let's just collect some more and either way we can just come back and collect some more uh, it's not that big of a deal well, looks like we're getting attacked again. Okay, I took care of it. But it started attacking the, uh... Oh, I need an underground belt. There we go. Started attacking the miner. Also, that kind of messed up what I have. Um, so, what I was doing, um, okay, we need to move this, so I guess it goes after the miners first. So let's go ahead and place this, bam, right there, and throw our bullets in there. But, uh, I was getting everything set up, I got a bit excited, so I'm setting it up to where there's going to be both sides. And we'll also need to get this coal headed over here. So, yeah, there's still lots of work to do because we also want to get a stone set up. But that's going to be last because it's not as important. But, yeah, we were just getting this set up. So that should work there. Work here. And then we want to get these placed... Oops. Uh, where do we want these? So we want it here. Here. 
here, 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 and like so. So they won't be even. It'll look kind of weird, but eh, there's kind of a pattern there. And then on this side, we don't have to worry about that at all. We can just place them like so. And I think I've made enough. There we go. And what's nice is after you get this, the first ones down, and you can just go across and lay them out like that. It's very satisfying. Okay. And same with this way. And we can just lay them all out. Just like that. Okay. So now that we have those down, oh, that looks so cool. We want to fix our electricity. Oh, and also we haven't gotten the uh, miners down quite yet. But we got them built, so that's what matters. And we'll get the coal coming in pretty soon. But it looks like... Oh, these are full, okay. Actually, we'll collect these. Okay. And the ore will slowly fill up fill all of these up so that'll be real nice once I actually get the uh, coal but for now let's go ahead and get the miner set up okay so now we got the miner set up and hopefully I got them set up correctly but now we should be able to go through Oh, oops, okay. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. Okay, so that has enough room. We just need to place this farther back one. Like so. And, oh, you know what? I don't even need that. I don't need that either. Okay. So let's get these laid down. I don't even know if I, this is enough underground belts, but we'll see. That's 17 left. And bam. Here we go. Now they're all going, which I'm very surprised. Oh, yeah, okay. I was going to say, I was surprised that the uh, steam engines are keeping up, but they're not. Uh, so, yeah, the way this game works is it'll run everything, but it'll run it slower when it's not, uh, when it doesn't have the electricity that it needs. But once this uh, belt fills up, these will not be going, only like a few of these, so not really worried about that. And I actually placed this wrong. So, let's just do that. No, that'll really mess it up. Let's go here. Like so. And place a pole here. Okay. There we go. So now everything is starting to fill up. These have... Oh, I see. I thought they were going to fill up, but they're actually just waiting on fuel. So yeah, now we need to go get uh, coal for this. So I wanted to point something out, and that is, I think it's okay to place these small electric poles like this. Uh, I had originally decided not to do it because I thought it wasted space, but when I look at this uh, range of these mining drills, they both cover this inside part so I feel like they won't run out even if they are faced like that um, every time I see people with opt optimized setups it is set up the way I have it on the other two resources uh, but without putting too much thought into it, it I don't really think it saves much space because either way that pull whether it's here or whether it's here Oh, but it's taking up these two spaces as well. 
Okay, so it does save a bit more space. So we will switch these around. So for the coal, it's not used nearly as much as the other resources. So I'm just going to fill it up like this and call it good. Okay, so we finally got the coal set up. And I put down a splitter here and now we're just making some transport belts. Because we want to send this all the way up here to our copper oops oh well we'll just leave that and we'll go down this way like so oops ah, we'll go one more like this there we go and now we should have coal coming once it catches up on this belt Here it comes. So yeah, now we'll have, now we'll be getting plenty of coal. And I'm kind of curious just how the energy spike is going to be. So right now it's not even close to satisfied because of this coal. And then it's about once these get started. Oh boy. This is going to be fun to watch. It's going to go way down. Because all of these need energy, and then once the belts start moving, these are going to start mining. Yep, here we go. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, so that's definitely going to be the next thing. Uh, we need to get a, a better power set up. But look at them go. Now we have lots of copper being made. This is fantastic. And this is enough. So this is uh, 24. So yeah, this is enough to fill half of a belt. And th what that means is uh, it can constantly fill half the belt as it goes down the line. Which is great. Um, I like this setup because even though I could have set up to have another line of these... To fill the other half of the belt um eventually we're gonna have upgraded furnaces i think they're steel furnaces uh, and they will be able to do twice the speed of these so this will be a perfect setup for just one belt uh, and I'll, I'll definitely have more of these later but i think this will be fantastic for now and for this um patch or this vein of copper so the next thing we're going to look towards doing is, of course, the energy supply. It's very low. And we're actually just going to go ahead and make some boilers and steam engines to get ready for that. I already have the setup, too, to be able to expand this way. So this is perfect. So let's go like so, get these down, and then get these steam engines. And we also, oh actually we need pipes, because these pipes are going to be used uh, in between, because we need one of these poles per two. So, okay, so we have pipes now. Let's get this down. Then let's get our boilers. Two of them. Then our pipes. Then our boilers. And let's get our steam engines down. And this should be pretty good for some time. Oh, actually, I need. One more here. And forgot about the inserters. Let's get these down. And of course, we want poles on these. So we'll go here, here, and here. Oops, there. Okay, 
Now let's see if we are satisfied. Yes, we are. So we can handle two point or ten point eight megawatts right now, and we're using around five, five point one. So not too bad. And that's just as everything's filling up. Of course, later uh, it will not fill up, so because it'll just keep going down another line. But for now. This is fantastic. This is great. Everything's filling up. We have uh, iron filling up, which I'm actually going to collect yet again. Because this gets used pretty quick. I use uh, transport belts so fast. Same with underground belts. We'll get some more of those. And we might as well get some more splitters. Just going to stock up on stuff. Um, especially because I'm just trying to think on what I want to do next right now. So yeah, that's perfect. And then we'll just simply collect some more. Okay. So we have this down. We have it being split. I think our next goal is going to be finally actually moving on to research. Uh, as well as getting some better defenses set up. Because with this uh, production level, there's definitely going to be some more pollution going on. And those biters are not going to be happy, to say the least. So, but for now, this isn't too bad. Uh, only problem is, it looks like these guys... Um, I need to switch some of these. So this one needs to be switched. like that oops okay I almost got rid of something and then like that so is it full then oh it is full oh here we go this one needs to be switched this okay and this one needs to be switched so yeah, there's definitely uh, some flaws in this build that I have, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of just putting down blueprints because, well, if they're my blueprints, that's fine. But if it's somebody else's, then I'm just playing somebody else's game, really. I enjoy this game because of the puzzle aspect of it. So yeah, now we have all of these working properly. But yeah, next goal, we want to finally get some automation using all of these base resources that we've uh, set up. And I know I do need to get this set up. However, uh, it's just stone. We don't have any recipes right now that are super important in using that. So we'll just leave it be for now and just uh, take a stack of coal and throw her in there. So it'll keep filling this chest. But yeah. So I just wanted to say that I'm uh, adding these because we want to get this belt going this way. And I think we're going to send this belt right here, uh, probably along this line around here and probably up around like right here. And then we'll get this copper going here. And then this is probably where we'll have a little mall going. And there is water up here. But that's not too difficult. We can set up. Oh, also there's this though. So we might want to send it that way. Okay, we're actually getting attacked. So, Oh, it's always the factory that I'm farthest away from. Well, while we're running there. Oh, we can't even make gun turrets. Okay. So... There we go. Okay. I don't know if that's connected, so we're gonna go and place these like so. There we go. And this is barely standing. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we gotta get some defense on this and also get some belts on these outputs. So my whole base is getting, or well, 
this whole base is getting destroyed. <sighs> they finally decided to attack. And this little guy here did nothing. So that's fun. Alright, well, I'm going to get this recovered and also get these outputs set up for the research to get started. Uh, however, I'm going to do that in between episodes. Uh, so that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you guys liked this uh, episode, then please hit that like button. And if you have any suggestions on where I should put things or what I should work on next, then please leave a comment. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.